Now we come to one important aspect of processes in the atmosphere, which is called atmospheric convection. This mechanism will help you to understand the monsoon, winds, and s the sea breeze system too. Okay. So let's just go step by step through this mechanism of atmospheric convection. I tried that before, but maybe you're still you're still confused about it. But let, let's just go. So the starting point is heating from below. So we are essentially, in, it can happen in, in all regions of the Earth, but it's most pronounced in, in the equatorial tropical regions. Heating from below creates a vertical upward motion of air and moisture in the atmosphere. Okay, So temperature of an air column increases at the bottom. So that's what you do. You heat up your air from below. The air parcel expands. Okay, it's like, like blowing up a, 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 a balloon, but through heating, the air parcel expands. The density air of air decreases, the air parcel rises through the, the column. Okay. As the air parcel rises, the temperature decreases, water condenses, clouds appear. Again, okay, there's one picture here on next to me showing you one tropical uh, convection cell. So now one addition to that is, as water condenses, latent heat is, heat is released, which further drives vertical motions. Okay, so there is an internal heat source in the atmosphere. Condensation releases heat. Okay, that's why you sometimes can see in clouds that there is further. You look at you in this this image. You can see actually one cloud level and then you get uh, see a higher cloud level up so this is triggered through the heat release by, by uh, through condensation and just for your information is that evaporation is is the the opposite mechanism which cools down surfaces okay or in a sweaty day if you notice that the sweat on your skin cools down your your skin Okay, so these mechanisms, the evaporation, the heat loss, plays an important role in the heat balance of the oceans. Okay, the latent heat flux, but we also come 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 to that later on. So rising air masses are usually associated with clouds and precipitation, and descending or subsiding air masses are usually associated with clear sky and little precipitation. That's a useful thing to know. 